Remember when we started hoarding orbs of light? How I said that I was going to save them for when the, the reward that the game gave me for some task was not sufficient enough in my eyes. Or we accomplished a major uh, accomplishment that I think merits the reward. Well, guess what? After all of that, you know what kind of pick-me-up I need? All of these. Every single one of these is going to be used. It's time. It's time. After that, that's the reward they would have to give me to make it all worth it. So I'm going to give that reward to myself. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. That's six. And you know what? I like the storm. It just gave us six heart containers. That's actually very much worth it for the for the absolute nightmare that was that. So let's go back and just clean up the rest of it. Because, I mean, they just gave us six heart containers. That's pretty sweet. I can't believe the devs would do that, but it honestly, it makes a lot of sense. I like this now. Okay. We have a lot more hearts now. I'm not going to be one-shot by stuff really at all anymore. Uh, oh. Oh my word, there was a goddess statue right here? Are you kidding me? Ah! <laughs> Why does this... This is the worst part of the Let's Play so far. I hate this area so much. Ah, oh, the game just wants to troll me. Okay. This better be enough. I think it should be enough. I mean, we got six heart containers. That... That is gonna be enough. I'm curious how many we actually needed. Oh, we only need like four. Okay. Well, we're gonna get to, get to open this thing. Whatever it is, it's probably just gonna be like a sage's will. I don't know. It's it's not gonna be... It's gonna be a guy. We're gonna get to talk to a guy. Hello, guy. Actually, I don't know what we're doing. What are we doing? Tell me what we're doing. Do I get to wear that? Is that a mask for me? I don't- I have no idea what's happening. Is this a boss? I mean, is it gonna take away- It's going to reach out and grab Link's eyes and rip them out, and I will not be- I won't be able to see for the rest of the game. I mean, this is cool. At least it's unique. What on earth just happened? What just happened here? Link. Zelda's chosen protector. Who is this? Take this. Follow the light. Who is this? What is happening? What? Guidance from ages past. Not gonna lie, my throat's been kinda hurting from, um... What? From yelling? And being angry? And also doing the, glo the globetrotters? Um... So, like... I, I want to end the session, but at the same time, this is functionally unique. This is not just a a shrine at the end. This has unique music. It has a cutscene. It has voice acting. It has this weird mask thing. Uh, it's swaying me. But that said, I would like to talk about all that that just went down. I legitimately think that what we just experienced, what I just experienced, is some of the, my least fa- the... I don't think I've had a worse experience from Nintendo than this island in, like, the past ten years. I think the, the last time I had something that rivaled this, strangely enough, was also in a Let's Play, so may, that might have some factor here. I guess most 90% of my video game video gaming is on the channel anyway, so that I guess that that's the... That's why. Was uh, the over-there stare in Super Paper Mario. I legitimately hated that part of the game so much. I was miserable. And this... I, I did the Pit of 100 Trials in that game- oops. I did the Pit of 100 Trials in that game twice. But this, I legitimately believe, is some of the worst game design I've ever seen from Nintendo. The- the zero percent visibility, unless there's something I'm missing, which... If there is, 
if there was a, something that I just very conveniently glossed by and it was supposed to be obvious, I'll take that. Okay, fine, fine. I didn't do it as it was intended. I'll take it. But, this is actually kind of cool with these racks. We've never seen this before. But if I didn't, and they legitimately wanted me to fight Flux Construct 3s with not, with 0% visibility, no. There's no forgiveness for that. This, while the reward might end up be, being good, it does not justify that. That was miserable. And like, I know I'm harping on it. I know I'm mad. I know I'm ranting right now, but you have no idea how mad that made me, how uncomfortable it made me. And maybe this is a, it was hitting a, a phobia that I didn't know I had, uh, much like, okay, don't slide down. Thank you. Much like Steven with, um, with underwater levels, especially in his early let's playing days, but not being able to see like that and not being able to see and flying in an abyss and then landing on the ground where I had no idea. I had no idea that I was about to land. I thought I was a hundred feet above something and I wasn't. That sticks out as a like not almost nauseating experience. I'll tell you another another time where I had um, an experience that negative was during the Pac-Man World 2 LP when I had to I'm gonna put a ma the mask on the plane. Yeah, the the Pac-Man World 2 LP where I decided to play through Pac-Man World 3 for the purposes of making a mini do doc on it. That also that actually made me sick. How bad it was. Okay, let's... I don't... Where are we even going? Huh. Are we going... Where are we going? Have I... Wait. What is this? Oh, we're going to the end of Tobio's Hollow, huh? Uh, that makes sense. That did make sense. I Did I not say that it felt conspicuously barren? Oh, those statues are going to come into play, aren't they? That sucks. Okay. We're going to have to, like, chain lightning them or something. Oh! Oh, Toby was hollow. Oh, no. I Sorry. I was thinking of... I was thinking of the Spring of Courage and Dracozu Lake. Toby was hollow. Oh, that area was like a, a giant nothing burger in, um... In Breath of the Wild. That's really cool to see that actually relevant here. Uh, I'm, briefly, I'm going to equip my Korok, Korok mask. Just walk over here. I'm just curious. Is it... There was a Korok on there in um, Breath of the Wild. All right. Uh, am I supposed to fuse this? Is that what's happening? I'm not trying to attach it to my... Boat. Where? Maybe, you know, maybe I just need to pick it up and walk up. Yeah, that's what I need to do. Okay. Like, I don't even know what they would give me for this. Like, what could they... And whose voice was that? This is major. This is like story level polish right now. Past that that point, you know. But like these are cutscenes, there's voice acting. I don't know what's going on. I hope that <laughs> I hope that it makes me forgive the game a little bit. <laughs> Please. Unique camera angle. There's something go- this is huge. Whatever this is, this is huge. It's cool that they- they- Of all the map- areas of the map to do this, they did it in Southern Middle Hyrule, where... Again, in Breath of the Wild, this was a filler area. There was no significance to this place whatsoever. Like, at all. There was the giant horse and that's it. And... 
that's- I, I've- I've been saying this and I- I hate to praise the game after I was just hating on it, but I guess that's my brand, and how I wrapped up the Pikmin 4 LP is saying, hey, you know, I- that- that's kind of how I do things, uh, is I frequently rant and rave about the games I play while mixing in compliments, and I do like this game more than Breath of the Wild. I like this a lot more than Breath of the Wild. It's just I hate that segment. I should have taken off the Korok mask, oh well. Where am I going? What on earth is happening? What is happening? Oh, I guess I'm in the depths. Link. Zelda's chosen protector. You must hurry. We must meet as soon as possible. There's also no music. I want to point that out. I... I suppose I should... get the light root. I'm worried that this is gonna despawn. They wouldn't do that. There's no way they'd do that. I'm getting the light root. I need to see where I'm at. What is around me? Where am I? Okay. We have a lot of hearts. Wait, where am I? Okay. Imagine if the, this area was just gone and it was like, it was a dream. That'd be kind of cool. Unique music. This is not the depths music. Is that a, is that a mech? Is that a mech? Construct factory? What is this? What is this? That's a mech. Um, the, there are other pieces. There are other pieces, missing pieces of this mech. This is actually getting me pretty strong black reach vibes right now. Also Wind Waker vibes. Link, Zelda's chosen protector. My name is Minoru. I am the Sage of Spirit. I am happy you have arrived. At last we can speak with each other. Unfortunately, I no longer have a body. Without a physical form. We cannot yet speak face to face. But, do you see the four storehouses in the area? I would ask you to visit each of them and assemble a body for me. This is my request to you, Link. Loyal swordsman to Zelda. Okay. I'm tired. I've recorded for five hours. But I'm not done. This is one of the rare instances where I don't want the comments to weigh in on this. I mean, you can, because by the time you do, I'll have already recorded this. But 
I don't want to wait to get feedback on this. Because I want to know how this plays out. I hope... Oh, crap. Uh... I don't want to fight. Um... I hope Future Pal has... has... paced out... paced this out well, but... next time... or, I guess, starting now, I'm going to take a break. Uh, a, a brief break, just to make sure this recording is saved. And then... I will assemble this m sage's body. This is too big for me not to do right now. And I want to make sure that I don't lose it. So give me a moment, whether this is the end of the episode. If it is, see you next time in a few days. Sorry. It, or a couple seconds. But I need to make sure that I don't lose this.